This is first knowledge. For thousands of years men have gathered their families around the fire to tell them stories. Stories their parents told them, who their parents told them, and so forth, most of this knowledge was passed on down, from generation to generation, only by word of mouth. The Paiute tribe of Nevada, and Utah tells a story about a race of red-haired giants that lived in the area long before humans arrived. According to the legend, these giants were peaceful and lived in harmony with nature, but were eventually wiped out by a tribe of hostile humans. The Paiute story goes that the giants were initially friendly with the humans, and even helped them to survive in the harsh desert environment. But over time, the humans grew fearful of the giants' size and strength, and began to attack and kill them. The giants, who were peaceful and did not want to harm the humans, retreated to a cave deep in the mountains to hide from their attackers. However, the humans eventually discovered their hiding place and set fire to the cave, killing all the giants inside. Today, some Paiute people believe that the red-haired giants still exist in spirit form, and that they continue to watch over the land and the creatures that inhabit it. The legend of the red-haired giants serves as a reminder to respect and honor the natural world, and to live in harmony with all beings, no matter how different they may seem. Stories like this have often left us wondering of aliens or Bigfoot-type creatures that have maybe walked among us. Where did they go? Did they perish in the Great Flood? Do they even exist? Well the truth is, strange humanoid-type creatures did live on Earth with us. That's right. We were not alone. You see humans have been around for a long time, millions of years to be exact, did you know that there have been several different species of humans throughout history? Nine different species, that have been found so far. These are their names. Sahelanthropus chadensis Our journey begins with Sahelanthropus chadensis, which lived over 6 million years ago. This species is thought to have been bipedal, meaning that it walked upright on two legs. However, we don't know much else about their lifestyle or diet. Auroran Tugenetsis Next up is Auroran Tugenetsis, which lived around 6 million years ago as well. Like Sahelanthropus chadensis, this species was bipedal. However, some evidence suggests that they may have spent more time in trees than their predecessors. They likely ate a diet that included fruits, nuts, and small animals. Ardipithecus ramidus Ardipithecus ramidus lived around 4.4 million years ago, and was also bipedal. However, they may have spent some time in trees as well. They likely ate a diet that included fruits, nuts, and some meat. Australopithecus anamensis Next up is Australopithecus anamensis, which lived around 4.2 million years ago. This species was fully bipedal, 
and likely lived in groups. They may have eaten a diet that included fruits, nuts, and some meat. Australopithecus afarensis Australopithecus afarensis is perhaps the most famous of the early human species, thanks to the discovery of the skeleton known as Lucy. This species lived around 3.9 to 2.9 million years ago, and was also fully bipedal. They likely lived in groups, and ate a diet that included fruits, nuts, and some meat. Australopithecus africanus Australopithecus africanus lived around 3 to 2 million years ago, and was also fully bipedal. They likely lived in groups, and ate a diet that included fruits, nuts, and some meat. Homo habilis Homo habilis is considered the first member of the genus Homo, and lived around 2.8 to 1.5 million years ago. This species was fully bipedal, and likely lived in groups. They were also the first species to use tools, which were likely used for scavenging meat. The Homo floresiensis, also known as the Hobbit species, which lived on the Indonesian island of Flores between approximately 100,000 and 50,000 years ago. This species had an average height of about 3.5 feet, 1.06 meters, making it much shorter than modern humans. Homo erectus Homo erectus lived from around 1.9 million years ago to about 70,000 years ago. This species was also fully bipedal, and likely lived in groups. They were the first species to leave Africa and spread throughout the world. They likely ate a diet that included meat, as well as fruits and vegetables. The Homo erectus, which lived between approximately 1.9 million and 100,000 years ago, and was found in many parts of the world. The height of this species varied depending on the location, but some populations were relatively short compared to modern humans, with an average height of around 5 feet, 1.5 meters, or less. Homo neanderthalensis Finally, we have Homo neanderthalensis, which lived from around 400,000 to 40,000 years ago. This species was also fully bipedal, and likely lived in groups. They were well adapted to cold climates, and likely lived in caves or other sheltered areas. They were also the first species to bury their dead, suggesting that they had some form of ritual or belief system. And modern-day humans, are belonging to a group called Homo sapien. Do the giants in the Native American legends have any roots to any of these human species? The red-haired giants mentioned in Native American legends are not believed to be a specific species of human, but rather a separate race of beings that were distinct from humans. There is currently no scientific evidence to support the existence of a race of red-haired giants or any other humanoid species beyond those that have already been identified by paleontologists and anthropologists. The legends and stories about such creatures are often seen as a reflection of cultural beliefs and traditions rather than historical fact. The Great Flood is a mythological story that appears in many cultures and religions around the world. However, 
There is no scientific evidence to support the idea that a single global flood wiped out all or most of the species of humans that existed at the time. In fact, the different species of humans that have been identified by paleontologists and anthropologists did not all live at the same time or in the same place. Instead, they emerged and evolved over a span of millions of years in different regions of the world, and some species overlapped in time while others did not. The extinction of different human species was caused by a variety of factors, including environmental changes, competition with other species, and interbreeding with other groups. While some species of humans did become extinct, others evolved into new forms or were absorbed into other populations through interbreeding. For example, genetic evidence suggests that Neanderthals interbred with early modern humans, and that their genetic legacy can be found in the DNA of people living today. So while there is no evidence to suggest that the Great Flood wiped out specific species of humans, the story of the Flood and other mythological tales, can be seen as reflecting the human experience of environmental change and the struggle to survive and adapt to changing conditions over time. Thanks for watching.